By 2050, it is estimated that millions of people could die every year due to antimicrobial resistance. By 2030, it could cause global GDP to drop by $3.4 trillion and push 24 million people into extreme poverty. But what is antimicrobial resistance, or AMR, and why should we be concerned? Antimicrobials help treat infections and diseases in humans, animals, and plants and allow us to perform complex surgeries with greater success. You may know them as antibiotics, antifungals, antiparasitic, or even as disinfectants. As more antimicrobials are used and released into our environment, microbes are adapting into superbugs and are one of the biggest threats to global health. With growing resistance, many antimicrobials that are used to prevent and treat infections are becoming ineffective. But this is not just a human health issue, it's also an environmental issue. AMR is linked to the triple planetary crisis of climate change, biodiversity loss, pollution, and waste. Our changing climate affects AMR. Higher temperatures can be associated with increases in AMR infections. Extreme weather patterns can also contribute to antimicrobial resistance. As flooding increases, wastewater spreads faster, accelerating the spread of resistant microbes. Impacts on microbial biodiversity may affect carbon and methane cycles, which are directly involved in regulating Earth's climate. Microbes inhabiting natural environments are sources of pharmaceutical discovery. However, in recent decades, land use changes and climate change have altered soil's microbial diversity, which may affect our ability to make medical breakthroughs. Pollution in key sectors of the economy contributes to the development, transmission and spread of AMR. Reducing pollution created by the pharmaceuticals, agricultural and healthcare sectors and municipal waste and wastewater is essential to reduce the emergence, transmission and spread of superbugs. We need to tackle antimicrobial resistance through a One Health response, which refers to the interconnectedness of human, animal, plant and environmental health. By working together to establish strong policies and regulation and prevent and manage chemical and biological pollutants, we can limit the development and spread of superbugs. To reduce the spread of superbugs, the world must cut down pollution today.